Yo, morning everyone. Charlie here. Erica, still sleeping. 4.35, get ready to go to work. And uh, yep, yeah, just happy to have a job. Happy to have uh, a wife. Oh, wife. I'll call it Erica. Well, my wife. You're going to love seeing that. Um, happy having a beautiful, wonderful lady that's got my back always. Wonderful friends, guys. You are all awesome. See you more and more day by day. You guys are turning the corner and stuff like that and just seeing that you know that, that that we're trying we're doing the best we can and you can just you know you feel it's just it's genuine you know so i want to thank you all for that and uh yeah not too much going on today it's, it's still early so let's see what we can get into have a great friday guys all right break time everybody I'm gonna kick back with my crispy crunch from cadbury only available uh in Canada. I don't know if it's uh, anywhere else, but it's not available in America. So once again, thanks to my dude Krusty. Mm, love it. Tastes like a Fifth Avenue bar. So just hanging out. I'm in the sun a little bit. I want to talk to you guys. Um, just check in right now, man. Let you know I've been playing this game, guys, called um, Helix Jump. I don't know if any of y'all have played Helix Jump, but it's fun. It's got a ball. It's got some spinny things with little gaps in it. You try to get the ball through the gaps without hitting a red tile. It's a lot of fun, man. It's got me walking around here, damn kind of. <laughs> zip, zip, zip. Feel like I'm in the game a little bit. We've been playing it a lot. Haven't really felt that, guys, since um I don't know if uh, a little if any of y'all heard of a little game called GoldenEye 007 for Nintendo 64, but I played that so damn much it was like I was in the game and I was. I was real. It was crazy. So <laughs> I'm enjoying the day, man. Just hanging out. Speaking of games, um, uh, you know, Dad, uh, Dad's in a game called uh, uh, Squad, something Squad, Rescue Squad. Or, oh man, I can't believe that. I, squad Rivals. And uh, we tried playing it last night, but I couldn't freaking find Dad's character, man. So dang. If y'all know if what I'm doing wrong or whatever, if y'all know if, if it's an unlock or something like that, let me know, man, because I really want to play with Dad's character, you know? Dad, you got game. <laughs> I've been talking with Dad every morning when I get up and get ready for work. I kind of have a little ritual. I talk to him a little bit while I'm getting ready and stuff. And today, it felt like he's been dang. It felt like he's been talking back. You know, there's some days are, uh, um... You know, or, or he seems, I seem to feel more more of a connection than others. And today I'm really kind of feeling it, you know. So I'm thinking about you, Dad. <laughs> we all love you. So proud of you. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't, there's so much I can say that I just can't, it's not, you know. It can't, it's not there. I can't vocalize it, you know. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and finish this crispy crunch. Thank you, Krusty. And I'm going to get back to work. Mmm, look at that. All right, guys, we are back. Lunchtime. This day is just flooring it, guys. Sammy Sammy's. Give me some regular Sammy's. Um, of course, I got my all dressed up. Thank you so much, uh, Krusty. And I got me an Icy White. Yep, just like uh, just like back in jail. So, anyways, guys, I want to get with you. First off, I want to recap a couple of days ago. Uh, what was it? Um, DJ AM. Okay, guys. Now I come to it's come to my attention that DJ AM did not die in Colombia, so I want to go ahead and retract that. Apologize. It was one of those things. Normally I try to do my research. It's one of those things, guys, where you know it's been like the word's been passed around for so long through so many people. It's almost become like a general, like like an accepted, you know, uh, fact. I guess you know, an accepted lie. <laughs> If you will, and a lot of people know about that, but um, so you know, I just felt like I didn't even need to uh, uh, to um, Google it or anything because that's just what it was, you know. That we I knew for a fact that AM died in Colombia, you know, and that wasn't the case, he actually died in I think New York from a drug overdose. So, a couple of security guards actually died right there in Colombia, though. So, rest in peace to them. Had to hit you guys with that real quick. What else? Um, damn it, guys. It just I just lost it as soon as I started thinking about it, man. Damn. Um, oh, crap. I don't know. Yeah, so I, anyways, we're going, going to the waterfalls this weekend. I don't know which waterfall. We're definitely going to another waterfall. Like I say, love when you guys show us your, your videos and pictures of y'all you know, going out and doing stuff. Send more of that, man. Get outside. Go enjoy life. 
And uh, you know, we could, we could, we we don't have much money as always. We could spend twenty bucks on going out to eat, or we could spend it on gas and you know go somewhere really cool. You know, so we chose gas and memories. So gas and memories reminds me of dad. <laughs> Speaking of dad, you know, I was thinking about him earlier, man. He's really been kind of talking to me, guys. Like. I was just sitting there like, I'm not, I'm, it's not that I, you know, I, was, I haven't been at peace today, because I have, but it seemed like after I got done talking to you guys and I went back and uh, back to work, it was like an even more peace and calm just came over me and stuff, and a cool breeze was hitting, and, st and, and I was just thinking of dad, you know, and, and, um, I miss him, you know, this is for, this is, uh, Father's Day weekend, and, uh, I feel like, you know, we're gonna spend it together, me and dad are, I'm not gonna sit there and make, make any sad things about it it just is what it is uh you know uh it's been a lot of years that i didn't get to spend with dad you know like i said me and dad were kind of we were kind of separated and we've always kind of we were so much alike that we're always butting heads you know and um and yeah you know growing up and working and moving out and stuff like that you know it's like there's been a lot of times that a lot of years that me and dad didn't get to spend together you know and and Father's Day has always been kind of hard for me because, you know, like with my daughter and stuff. And, and I realized, man, in, in all this stuff, me and dad have so much in common, guys. So flipping much in common. You know, uh, I feel bad about it. You know, like he's got, you know, dad has had a daughter that he wasn't able to uh, to go see that was kept away from him for, you know, for almost his whole life. Here I am. You know, dad has had his trouble with alcohol and, and, and with, with addiction. Let's just say addiction with addiction. And, uh, and here I am. And uh, I thought about it. I was like, why did I never go to dad about my, you know, my alcohol and drug problems? Why did I not go to dad? Because, you know, he is someone that, you know, would be able to understand. But there was always that buffer between me and dad, you know what I mean? Where he, you know, he was a friend and wanted to understand, but he was also a father, you know, and, and uh, you know, voiced his disappointment and stuff like that. And uh, sometimes there was not, I, I felt I couldn't go to him, you know, when now thinking about it, he was probably the most perfect person to go to. And, uh, and, then, and it's too late now, you know, but he's still right here. I can still go to him anytime I want, dad. I know that and I love you so much. So, uh... It's been getting hot out here, guys. What, what What's the temperature out here today? It's only 88 right now, it says, but, man, it is scorching out here, man. Been working with my hat off. Man, I just want to say, you know, life is turning good. Thank you, Vartan K, for this hat, man. I really love it. I really appreciate it. It really mirrors my style, you know, the outdoorsy gear, you know, the leather jewelry and stuff. I really feel like I'm coming into my own, you know. They say that clothes don't, don't make the man. Man makes the clothes, you know, but some, a lot of times the clothes, you know, expresses the man. And, uh, and I feel like I'm really coming into myself, you know, and who I am. And, uh, and, nor and I took my hat off today. That's what I was going to get at with you guys, you know, about it being so hot, hot out. I took my hat off. And normally I don't do that, guys, when I was bald like this. My whole life, dude, growing up, I was bald, okay, guys? Uh, I would always get my head shaved. And people, I was uh, really ashamed of my scars here, okay? This one, I know where that one came from. I got a few other ones. This one, the worst one, I don't remember where it came from. Mom claims that... Uh, Something happened when I, the day I was born, they had sensors on my head and they pulled the suction cup up and it ripped a piece, it ripped my head, you know, but I don't remember seeing the scar as a baby in any of my baby pictures, so I don't know. <laughs> Possibly I could have been born with this scar since day one. This could be a day one scar right here. But man, I used to be so embarrassed by it, man. I'd go to school, I'd go to talk to, I'd talk to people or whatever, and uh, they would look, you know, they'd look at me, they'd look, look at me and then look at my scars. And I, I hated it with the passion, guys. So, like, I went so long, um, you know, not wanting to get, I would, I would not want to get my head shaved, but I would always get my head shaved. You know, it's what dad always wanted for me. <laughs> Until I was, like, 12 or 13 when I can kind of start picking up my own hair. But, um... But yeah, you know, and that now I don't care. You know, what I mean, I've got I've got this, this uh, a, a certain sense of self confidence, you know, that an adult should have, and uh, and it doesn't bother me, man. You know, it really doesn't. If people see it, you know, I got stories, stories. You know, some of them I may not know, some of them I do. You know, and the pat the scars are like you know, they're just uh, uh, reminders of the past, really. You know, and. Uh, um, the tattoos with cool stories, so <laughs> not ashamed. I'm happy to be myself. I am who I am. I am one of you guys. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this food. Finish it. I'm gonna go ahead and start eating and get back to work. A couple more hours, and then I'm headed back home to my lady. Mm. All right, quick thought for you guys real quick. I'm riding to the store. I wanted to get back with you, talk about, you know, not believing everything that you hear, you know. 
uh, you know, about DJ AM, and I ended up getting egg on my face. <laughs> a lot of misinformation spread. There's truth out there. People pick up and run with it, you know. Uh, if, I want to see if Erica still has it on the computer. I'm not sure if she does or not. Uh, well, I, I almost did it the same day with a, DJ AM. There was a place that we used to always uh, ride by a mom and then would always point out and say, that's the old slave quarters. They're old slave quarters, old slave quarter houses. Um, in Colombia that we used to ride by slave quarter houses when in fact we rode out there we looked at it I even did one intro talking about them being slave houses it didn't look like said look they didn't look like slave houses to me so I went on Google looked it up turned out to be like an old brick factory or something those are actually fire kilns or whatever see if we can't find that on the computer where we can show you guys don't believe everything you hear do your own information your own background your own homework home with my baby <laughs> checking out that's Lower Creek Falls right there. That's we're gonna where go we're to going. Upper Creek and Lower Creek. Yes. Yay. Doing some research, thinking about the found out where we're going. Be right back. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Lenny, you all right, boy? He's allergic to damn, what was this? Who's this girl? Rebecca Black. Lenny is allergic to Rebecca Black. Get it out, boy! You don't like Rebecca Black? That's. You don't know who she is? It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. So I didn't know. Grandpa hates Rebecca Black. <laughs> We're sitting here watching this. Now he's flipping out about it. He was flipping about this video's kind of bouncing around a little bit, kinda of like my, my talk today. Oh god, Dad! He's very, very vulgar in this. And he was mad about his Arby sandwich and he's yelling at mom now. <laughs> Dad, uh, uh, this was life. Classic this was grandpa. this was home. Best that was home. Life. All right, guys. So that's it. That is it for Friday. Yep. I see why Dad dislikes Rebecca Black <laughs> and Friday. <laughs> that was cute. I thought that was cute. That Classic. you didn't know. Classic. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, real. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who that was. I never seen this. He's just like, <laughs> what is that? Oh my goodness. So funny yeah yeah something something new and annoying every single day for you so <laughs> that's it what do we what do we touch on today her not so much because she was a lazy butt yep didn't do any butt. clips for you guys nope just cleaning so, up around the house and stuff like that like i said i was talking Looking about up our adventure oh yeah because we're going to uh upper creek Upper Creek Falls, Upper guys. Upper Creek Falls. If you guys want to, look it up. There's yeah, a lot of check videos it out. on YouTube. It's really pretty and really cool. There's like a natural sliding rock. Yeah. I think it depends on how much the water is flowing on how good of a slide you get. Yeah. But it's a water hole. So we're going to go swimming. We got a rope swing. Trails. Trails. All that good stuff. So we're going to go out and have fun tomorrow. And back enjoy. out into the Pisgah, the jungle forest. Yes. And uh, Katniss Forest. So everybody, get out. Yes. Get out, man, and, yes. and share your pictures and your stories with us. We love it. Mm -hmm. We love uh, sharing our experiences with you guys. Definitely. So, yep, that's it. That's about it, I guess. Yep, and I gotta go to work. Going to work. Yep. So one more night for her. Mm -hmm. A couple of days off. Um, that's okay. Uh, like, I love course. them though. Like even on Fridays, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna miss them for two days, but <laughs> not so much. <laughs> yeah, because so we're much. not having a lot of our own fun. So yes. Saturday got Saturday mapped out. Still figuring out about Sunday. Maybe check out some brown mountain lights. Ooh, you yet. think? We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we will see. Mm -hmm. I really don't know what else to say. So <laughs> we're just going to leave it here, guys. Thank you for watching. Yes. Thanks Watch for watching. Tomorrow. Yep. Like and subscribe. And see you tomorrow.